This channel is supported by Truefire. Truefire is an online library of lessons from some of my favorite players. There's thousands of lessons on there. You can use the promo code JNC40 to get 40% off of any of their courses. <laughs> Right, I'm not going to have this amp around forever, so I thought I might try and do a video kind of cataloging some of the things that you can do with this amplifier. I think Studio Rats has a really good video with it as well. In this video, I'm not going to be using anything except the amp itself. I'm going into a fractal load box so that we can actually get some serious volume cooking out of it. I'll also show you some of the lower volume stuff with camera audio. And also some of the extent of like the sort of gain things we can do. Let's just start with the gainier tones because I think this is the side of the amp that you've probably not seen so much of. As you can see the gain here is pretty much cranked. As we open the master. You can see that the master stuff is adding more gain. So as much as it's kind of a preamp based amplifier, um, the power amp does still. Start to add some kind of gain in. Uh, in terms of the maximum amount of gain here, I'm in Schofield mode, not Philip. And if we chuck the FET boost. So you can really get into some pretty cooking stuff, but this would be very loud on stage. If we turn this master down. It does take some of that edge off. And so a, the other modes. So that's kind of the, the blackface mode all the way down and then all the way up is the classic. Two rock and then in the middle is our Schofield, not, not Phil. And we can sort of approach 
uh, I'd say kind of ODS style tones. Yeah, I, I think because... Definitely, uh, this is um, Eric Johnson's kind of rhythm amp. I, I'd say. You know, uh, quite a lot of gain for what I think is often thought about as being a clean amp, essentially. Um, if we up the treble and mids, I think we'll probably even get a little bit more. <laughs> I think that fairly covers, like, let's just make sure the FET is all the way. I think gives you a fair idea that there is a lot of gain available on the amplifier should you need it um, and then of course as we back the gain to about sort of 12 this is probably going to be more like what your starting point might be um, then <laughs> then that's maybe more what you're used to kind of. So uh, with that gain at kind of halfway, it's not the typical sort of uh, all the way clean kind of thing, but we've also got access to that sort of thing if we set our gain lower and master higher. This is in the most kind of gain mode, so two rock up to the top. Black face down. I don't know, the FET boost here. Basically works like adding in another, you know, gain state. And could be considered as doing something like sort of channel switching.
It's got a deep switch. And so I guess maybe for my more gainy tones, let's just show that um, boosting this stuff. Treble boost up, bass down, treble and mids up a bit. I think you'll probably be able to get a sense that this is actually a really versatile. Another thing you probably even on these really high gain Even on these really high gain settings, you still have an incredible amount of dynamics. So uh, I think, yeah, you probably hopefully agree that that's pretty versatile. Um, and yeah, I just wanted to put up another demo kind of alongside the Studio Rats showing, you know, more than Maya stuff. It's a, actually a, a super versatile kind of amplifier. Cheers for stopping by. I hope this was helpful if you're in the market for a classic reverb signature. So I guess a question that I might have about Two Rock Classic Reverb Signature would be how useful is it at lower volumes? So um, that's the whole point of this. One thing about Dumble style amplifiers is that in theory, quite a lot of the gain in here is kind of preamp based anyway. Um, so I'm gonna focus here on really cranked tones um, because I guess that's kind of the, the most difficult thing to do at a lower volume. Um, you know, get serious amounts of gain out of this amp. So you see I've got the gain here pretty much maxed. I'm in the middle position, which is our max gain. Um, so if we can make this work at sort of like bedroom volumes, then pretty much anything else should be on the menu. <laughs>
we can get that popping. If I turn up the gain, the FET gain here. <laughs> And we, yeah, obviously got our cleans there as well. Our contour is then gonna probably be even more useful at these quieter volumes. If I'm finding things that are really dark, I could up the contour a bit. If I'm finding they're really bright, I could, you know, turn the contour down. So that's the kind of benefit here of this master volume. It's, you know, a, a black face Fender, you wouldn't be able to get obviously anywhere beyond super, super clean at bedroom volumes. But the master volume here, we can. <laughs> With no amps get a pretty cranked kind of cooking thing. I'm in low mode on the back already, so I'm already in 20 watt mode, but as we turn the master up even slightly, starts to come alive then but yes you can get some quieter stuff out of it uh, without a load box it doesn't have to be definite <laughs> Okay.